Hi, I'm Dottie, host of the Audible Original Podcast, Hashtag Trash Bag, where me and some celebrity guests aim to convince each other that we have found the world's most annoying thing to banish to the bin. And right now, I'm going to play a game of this or that on the things we really need to chuck out. Mansplaining or things that constantly go beep. My washing machine has the most excruciating jingle. I would rather hear that on loop for the rest of my life than hear some bloke called Clive explain to me about climate change when I already know, Clive, how it works. Over-enthusiastic shop assistants or clothes still on websites, even though they're out of stock. As much as I hate both of these things, I'm leaning towards the clothes being on the website, even though it's unavailable, because I'm pretty sure there's, there's somebody in HQ that could just, like, press an X that makes that go and doesn't spoil the shopping experience for me. Cyclists that think traffic regulations don't apply to them or people who take up two spaces when they park their car. The parking in two spaces thing, because although I do it, I recognise how selfish that is and think of others. I think it's time to think of others. So in the this or that, I would throw in the parking in two spaces. Forgetting what you need just as you walk into a room or stubbing your toe on stuff. Stopping your toe hurts for ages. Like there are some things where it's like, oh, that happened. It hurt, I'm over it. Just the elongation of the pain with a stub of the toe. So I'll go with stubbing your toe. Politicians or bankers? Because you're wearing a mask, it sounded like politicians or Are they not the same thing? Like I can see the allure of being a banker. Politicians, it's just like, I haven't, haven't met a politician I want to invite around for dinner, ever. Rubbers on the end of pencils that don't work or people who swing their arms wildly while walking in crowds. I will always go with anything to do with walking in crowds because I think people walk like morons. Um, so I will definitely say people that swing their arms wildly while walking in crowds and people that just walk slowly. Zoom meetings that could have been an email or real life meetings where one person won't let anyone get a word in. I am sick to death of Zoom. I actually recently was on a Zoom call and noticed that somebody had a new lamp behind them. And I think, look, if we're getting to the point where I'm recognising new things in the room, wrap it up. Can't stand Zoom. And the only thing worse than a Zoom is a Zoom that could have been an email. I've had it up to here with Zoom. Accidentally double tapping on someone's Instagram photo or plugging your phone into charge and realising three hours later that the switch wasn't on. Plugging your phone into charge and then realise, realising you haven't actually switched it on. And I do that all the time. With the double tap thing, it's like, oh, quickly undo it. Do you know what I mean? There's no, oh, can I get that three hours back to recharge my phone? And it's, it's always when you've got to go somewhere and you realise, oh, it wasn't even charging. Hate that, do that all the time. What is the thing that you still wish that you could have put in that trash bag on the podcast, but you didn't? I, I can't stand a film that goes beyond like three Maybe four instalments if you're like, I don't know, the Avengers. Why are there five Home Alones? Macaulay Culkin's is not even in it anymore. Just call it a day or just call it something else. Like in, in the house by yourself. What do you think is the strongest trash bag suggestion from a guest on the series? Space travel. Like, why are we doing it? Um, this one was brought to the podcast by Kay Curd, who explained to me why he thought space travel was absolute nonsense. And I am now a convert. I also hate space travel now. Let me know in the comments what the world's most annoying things are. And for more things that need to go in the bin, have a listen to the podcast, hashtag trash bag. I know people are always like, I'm going to be the funny person in the comments. Well, actually, this yes. video was the yes. most annoying. Don't be that person that says, this video, actually, you watched it to the end and then you commented, so who's the idiot?